Hello and welcome to the 123phonecalls.com video advertising blog. My name is Jared Graves. I'm the VP and Head of Business Development here at 123 Phone Calls. And today, I'm going to teach you how to run a successful Google pay-per-click campaign in under seven minutes. Now, I've worked with thousands of small business owners just like yourself, and I can tell you with the utmost confidence that the majority of Google pay-per-click advertising fails because the campaigns are not set up properly. I'm going to show you the seven must-do steps in order to run a Google, a successful Google pay-per-click campaign. And in no particular order, there's one. You must geographically target your campaigns to show within a certain mile radius of your business. Two, you simply must, must get rid of the display network. Do not use the display network. It is a gross waste of money on your part. Three, you must switch to manual bidding of your clicks. Do not let Google fool you and have them automatically bid on your clicks. They'll double the cost of your advertising. Four, you must use an ad extension in order to make your ads look more robust and attract more attention to them. Five, you must day part your campaign so you're not showing up at two in the morning when all you're going to get are wasted clicks and wasted money. Six, you need to use proper ad copy form and I'll show you the formula that you need to use when you create a Google PPC ad. It's a simple formula, it's a stock formula, and you'll be able to use it on all your advertising. Number seven, you must have proper landing pages to send your clicks to. You want to make sure that your clicks correlate to the most relevant landing pages on your website. Now I'm going to let you look over my shoulder as I go ahead and jump into a Google campaign and describe these seven steps again but show you exactly where to find them and how to fine tune them to make your campaign successful. Now anytime you like this video, please look down below, share this with any of your friends or colleagues who might also find interest in it. We'll be sending these out periodically to you. They're free for you and they'll really help you with growing your business. Thanks a lot and I'll see you inside a Google campaign. Okay, we're in an AdWords account. We're going to go fast because we're short on time. I'm going to show you those seven steps. Let's get to it. First thing you have to do is click on the settings tab up top. Click on your campaign name. Uh, then what we'll do, the first thing is we're going to geographically target it. So many people do not do this. It's a big mistake. Remove any existing targets or those will continue to stay up even after we set a radial target. Click on show map, radius target, enter your address. Select a radius depending on your business, uh, businesses that cover a wider range, get a wider range radius, and also bigger cities normally get a smaller radius because of the size of the population. So we click enter, click add, click done, and click save. You got to do all those things in order for that to save. Next, we're going to target networks and devices. Under the network section, hit edit. Get rid of the display network. It's a big, big, big waste of money. Get rid of the display network. Click save. We only want search here. Okay, let's move on down to bidding and budget. Click edit next to focus on clicks automatic bidding. We want to set this to manual. If you let AdWords set your bids, they will double the amount that you'll be paying per click. Awful. Never let AdWords do your bidding. Hit save. Next, add extensions. Click on add extensions. Uh, under here, you'll go to manually entered addresses. Click new extension. If you have a Google Places account, uh, you can come up here in the Google Places account. Click new extension there. Uh, what this will actually do is prompt you to enter your company name, phone number, address, city, town, state, and zip. Uh, it, what it will do is appear in your Google PPC at all of this information, doubling the actual uh, vertical uh, width of your ad making it stand out way better uh, than other ads on the page. So it's very important that you put an ad extension in. Once you save your ad extension, it'll appear down here. I've already created one. Uh, then let's go back to the settings tab and move down to below ad extensions to the advanced settings, the schedule and start date setting. We're going to click next to ad scheduling. Uh, we're going to schedule this to run during our business hours. Uh, so that we don't get a bunch of wasted clicks, especially late night clicks uh, and clicks over the weekend often are bad clicks and you end up uh, wasting a lot of money on it. Hit save. 
we are now uh, pretty much soup to nuts uh, done with the settings section. Now you're properly set up to run uh, right. Uh, let's just configure your ads real quick uh, so that we can make sure that those work as well. Okay, so I have an ad written already. I'm going to click edit it. Uh, the basic format of an ad, you have a headline, two description lines, your display URL, and your destination URL. A proper form of an ad is to have your city and something a keyword uh, defining your business in the headline. Uh, in the first line will be a sales line or some kind of enticing uh, you know, tagline. The third line will be a call to action telling people to call your, your office uh, and giving them a reason why. Uh, then you'll have your display URL and then your destination URL, the URL where your page lands. Make sure you're landing on the proper page. If you're talking about a specific service you provide, don't just land on your home page. Land on the page in your website that describes that specific service. It's much more relevant you get a lot better conversions from it. Final tip I have for you, add any type of parentheses or quotation marks, uh, parentheses up here, quotation marks here, we'll try rotating it, experiment with it, but try to put those in there. It gives your ads a little bit more added pizzazz. You'll get better clicks, you'll get more customers, you get more calls, and your business will grow. All right, thanks a lot for uh, tuning in. Uh, I jammed a lot in here, but you can always replay this video and do those seven things and you will be successful with your Google PPC ads.